Hey, what's up guys? Coach Jesse Minchin with GetHandles.com. Today I'm going to show you how to master your snatch back crossover so you can break ankles and create a ton of separation for easy jump shots. So alright guys, this is Denver Spaulding. She came in all the way from Florida and the favorite thing that she worked on was the snatch back, right? So you see guys like getting their ankles broken and fall. The snatch back is probably like the number one move to do that. What we did first and foremost is just I walked her through, you know, the, the steps and the footwork of doing the move. So basically we're going to, whichever hand's dribbling, we're going to step forward with that foot and we're gonna snatch it back, right? So you're stepping in one direction, same side as the hand that has the basketball, and you pull it back, right? So from there, we just had her repping it out with each hand, boom, right? Just working on getting the feel for it at first, okay? And we wanna work at being aggressive with that fake at the end that we lean in, right? And that's the one thing, the one cue I gave her that really helped is I said, get this last second snap. When you get the ball he to about here, Give that last second lean with the hips and the chest and that ball movement out and then back in really quick. Set up, there, good. Try it with the other hand now, right? We want to be able to do that with both hands. Good. Okay, so the next thing we want to be able to do is do the snatch back in a couple different ways. And one of the things I really like to do is work on being able to really extend with it so you can really sell, sell that fake and get the defender to go flying, but also then working on doing it shorter and more kind of quick and tight, right? So what we'll do is we'll just put two cones kind of to give her a marker to say, okay, keep this back foot here and then get the front foot here to work on more of the tight one. And then for the long one, we'll extend it a little bit further to really see how far she can extend on it, you know, and if that's too easy, then boom, we'll come back here and we'll try it from there, okay? So we're just gonna have her run through that real quick. Usually I'll just have the player do as many reps as it takes until they're starting to look clean with it and they're getting the feel for it and starting to look good with it. Then from there, once you're feeling good, again, work on extending those cones. If you're liking this video so far, make sure you hit that like button for me. So the next thing we want to be able to do is work on doing a little bit more on the move and transitioning into being able to explode out of it. Um, so this is a little bit more difficult, especially if you're getting the details right. So we're going to set up cones a little bit more than shoulder width apart, about twice shoulder width apart. And I'd say about six cones is a good amount just to give yourself enough reps. But basically all you're going to do from there is you're going to, again, same thing, we're going to try to get this snatch back and then come back here. We're going to push through with a regular dribble and then snatch back. So we're trying to minimize dribbles. One regular dribble, snatch back. One regular dribble, snatch back. One regular dribble, snatch back, weaving through the cones. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one of these drills has been your favorite so far. Okay, and then finally, we gotta be able to do this game situation. I'll be able to go into a drive or a jump shot from it. That's what makes the snatch back so deadly is when you come out of it, you got a ton of options. So what we wanna do for this is, first of all, again, kind of set the two cones up as sort of a measurement and to just give us something to work around because in a game situation, the court's not empty, right? There's players on the court. We're gonna go into that snatch back. From there, our options are basically to step back in and go for your shot. Okay, I'm a lefty, so I'm gonna keep that left foot more forward. She's a righty, so for her, I tell her to step back a little more to get that right foot forward. Then the other option is gonna be to come from that and just do a quick push cross back to the basket, back to this side. That's if the defense closes back out more to this side. And then the other option is if the defense closes up more to this side is to push through this gap here and try to get to the basket in as few dribbles as possible. I'm trying to have her get there in how many dribbles? One. Just one. So we're trying to work on covering ground now. So coming here, one more dribble to get to the hoop. And we're starting from the middle of the free throw line. Then of course, we're gonna repeat. Everything's gonna be pretty much the same, just the four changes on the jump shot. So we're gonna come here. Now she's a righty, so her right foot, she's gonna step back in just a little bit. So the right foot's still forward. For me, I'm a lefty, so I would step back more with that right foot. Besides that, the other options are the same. Coming here, pushing forward. Again, trying to get there in one dribble or pushing forward with the regular dribble instead of more of that push cross. All right, so if you found this video helpful and you wanna catch the newest videos to help you take your handles next level, make sure you click that subscribe button and get on that notification squad. Also, if you wanna take your handles to an insane new level, click this link right here, pop in your email, I'll send you a 100% free workout that'll help you take your handles next level. It's already helped thousands of players and I'm sure it'll help you too. Also, make sure you check out this video, you'll probably like that one as well, and check out this playlist. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and make moves today.